All right, let's look at how to edit files using VI. So VI is a default editor that's on pretty much every machine. So you do, or every Linux-based machine, or Unix-based machine even. So I type in VI hello.txt for my text file. It brings me into this new file, and it has these different modes. So I will get me into insert mode, and insert mode I can start typing the file. Hello world. And then if I want to save it, I've got to get out of insert mode so I can press escape. And then I can type in colon W for write. Or I can do colon WQ for write then quit. Or I can just do colon Q for quit. And if I have made a modification and I want to quit without saving, I can do a Q exclamation mark to quit like that. So you can see that some people like Vim, which is very similar. So if I type in Vim hello.txt, you can see that it's not installed. So I can do a sudo, sudo app install Vim, put in your password, and you can get it installed as well. And once again, Vim has a similar interface to VI. So you can just type in Vim and the file name as well to edit it. So Vim, hello.txt. I go in here and I can go to the end. But if I try typing in things right now, like a, so W, for example, it thinks I'm in some kind, of, some kind of command. And we don't know what that means. So you want to press I for insert mode. You go in there. You can edit things and say good bye and then once again if you want to quit without saving you do colon or you actually escape colon q and you can see it's going to throw an error so you do a colon q exclamation point and that will quit without saving so you can go in there vim is better than vi so if you like vi you like the VI interface, I would recommend installing Vim just so you can get comfortable with that. So there you go. Editing with VI or Vim.